they ask me what the consequences might be of using a fuel of a lower grade. I understand that you are referring to a grade lower than what the manufacturer specified. Let me tell you, when you develop a vehicle, you develop the engine in particular, and then that engine, a series of calibration processes are carried out on the vehicle, including the amount of fuel injected and the advance in the direction to which it will be subjected. Between a medium quality fuel, I'm not saying poor quality, and a very high quality fuel, there is a fundamental difference, which is what is called the distillation curve, which is the ease with which the fuel evaporates. And the other factor is the speed, depending on how it mixes, and that contributes to what is called the ignition timing. Under certain conditions of pressure and temperature, when the piston goes up and down, this is especially noticeable when there are very high loads or at very low speeds, where the piston takes a long time to rise and fall, giving the mixture plenty of time to heat up. A phenomenon known as detonation occurs, commonly referred to as knocking. And it means that the gasoline ignites because, as it pleases, the mixture ignites somewhere that has nothing to do with the spark from the spark plug. The spark from the spark plug jumps, and immediately, due to that increase in pressure and that prior temperature, causes the mixture to ignite anywhere else. You have two flame fronts meeting, and any disaster can happen. This translates to the piston being hit like a hammer. Once I talk about the concept of power and energy, energy is always present. Power is based on time. Do you realize that? So I have a certain amount of energy, and I burn it in very tiny, very small fractions of time. Then a great power appears, and that power has to be supported by the piston, and the piston, it cannot keep up with that because it is working at a certain speed. It is not prepared to handle loads with such speed, which translates into impact. So, the pistoning is like if I were hitting the piston with a hammer. Imagine what will happen then. If I put in a gasoline with a lower content of lower quality, I will necessarily break the engine. It also depends on how you use it, because I insist this manifests when you put the pedal to the metal. So there, when the engine is under a lot of stress, when it's at partial throttle or partial loads, the engine isn't as loaded. It's hard for it to have problems, it's very difficult. It might have some dirt issues, some deposit problems, but it's difficult. However, if it finds itself needing to accelerate, it's going to happen. What do modern engines do in response to issues like piston problems or detonation? It has a knock sensor, which is a little ear that's placed inside that listens. It detects the vibration itself and immediately acts on the ignition. What does it do? It delays it to try to prevent that detonation from happening. In other words, in some way it gets preserved, but that delay causes the engine to go off its program path, leading to higher consumption, lower performance, less cooling, and so on. So, it's not advisable to use a fuel of lower quality than what the manufacturer specifies. Autotech TV, technology clear and simple.